Yeah, they really did a lot of good work on this barn here. It was pretty loose before. All right, so we're gonna take a left right here on Rhythm and Blues on a lot of barn work right here. Hey guys, it's Clint with CBMTB, and today we're out at Blankets Creek. Um, I'm really just going out for kind of a regular ride, gonna hit Dwellin Loop and uh, probably Van Michael Trail. But while I'm out here, I thought I would show you guys the, uh, the renewed and reworked Rhythm and Blues and Rock and Roll, the uh, slope style trails that come off of the Dwelling Loop. Also, there's a new feature that I want to show you out here at Blankets Creek before we do that, and it's a set of progressive drops that some of the Sorba volunteers have built, um, and man, it's, it's awesome. I'm so glad we've got such a good set of volunteers here in Sorba Woodstock. So let's take a look at these drops real quick. They're located uh, just above the parking lot uh, in the area between the church and the parking lot. Uh, so if you're familiar with Blankets Creek, you'll, you'll know where that is. Uh, and it's over by the wood line. So I'm going to turn the camera around all right so you can see the church is over to my right over to the left is the parking lot for blankets and then we have the grassy area over here with the picnic tables and then as we turn around here we go look at that a set of three really nice progressive drops a freshly built so let's come around and take a look at this side over here so you can kind of see the see the heights so we'll put a I'll stand right here so that's about uh, that's about how high that one is this one right about uh, knee high and let's see this one is gonna be yeah it's about knee high as well and uh, but the uh, the landings are a little bit different so if you come out here and uh, do these drops you know, be careful. It's a training tool, good to use. And uh, the landings are really nice and sloped. And then uh, also there's a little bit of a right-hand turn after the landings, then you can loop back around. They look, uh, you know, standing up on top of them, they might look a little bit intimidating, but these are really nice, really nice drops uh, with nice landings. So, uh, you know, if you want to do some progression, learn to drop, that kind of thing. It's a great place for you to come. So uh, I'd like to say uh, thanks again to all the volunteers at Sorba for doing such an awesome job maintaining our trails and building new uh, training tools for us to use. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's go take a ride. All right, here we go. Headed up the dwelling loop. Gonna go check out Rhythm and Blues and Rock and Roll.
All right, so here we are at the top of the dwelling loop, and uh, we're gonna do rhythm and blues and rock and roll. I think we'll do rock and roll first, that way we'll be at the bottom of the climbing trail so we can come back and uh, do rhythm and blues. And uh, they've uh, been reworking them and refinishing all the berms and everything, so I thought it'd be a good time to go down and uh, take a look and see how they've been renewed. Uh, the drop is still here, um, since my shoulder's still a little uh, uh, not fully re uh, healed. <laughs> I'm gonna stay off the drop and I'm gonna roll everything on these trails, but just wanna give you guys a, you know, a taste of, of what it looks like uh, after the renewal. So here we go. Yeah, so they really made that berm a lot taller. Oh yeah, these berms all look great. Enhance the rollers here. Good train work. Oh yeah, this berm looks great. It was rough shape before. So here we're going to go to the right and hit rock and roll. All right, so maybe they're still working on it. We'll check it out and see what's going on. nice oh man this farm up here is huge now all right so there's a big step up here I'm not gonna have the speed for that right now so I'm gonna stop and we'll walk up it or around it probably something else I shouldn't be doing with my shoulder Man, that looks great. You come out of that big berm, if you come with enough speed, you hit that little tabletop up to this, uh, I guess it's a step up. Yeah, it's a step up. Oh yeah. Oh, big drain and the big new berm. Ah, that's some fantastic work they're doing. That looks like the end of the improvements on rock and roll for now, and those are great. All right, now to climb back to the top of the dwelling loop. All right, so through the magic of television, we've made it back up to the top of the dwelling loop. Um, so we just did rock and roll, and uh, now we're going to go do rhythm and blues and check out the new trail work they've done there. And uh, I'll stop at one point because they added a really cool, sweet new feature um, that uh, you guys are going to want to know about. So uh, here we go. Yeah, they really did a lot of good work on this barn here. It was 
pretty loose before. All right, so we're gonna take a left right here on Rhythm and Blues on a lot of barn work right here. New drain work there, that's good. All right, so we're gonna stop right here at the top of a new feature. Yeah, expert feature, ride at your own risk. See what, let's put the bike out of the way in case somebody comes through. So, let's check this out. You can come around this turn here a drop down through the valley and then a step up up on the other side so we'll go look at it on the other side too uh, like I say because of my shoulder I gotta gotta protect it and be careful while I'm still healing uh, I'm gonna skip this feature Right. Yeah, so let's take a look at this. So when we first looked at it, we were over there at the drop. You can get a lot of speed and momentum and you need all of it, I think, to get up to get up this right here. Let me step down here. Let's see what we can do to get a sense of scale. Oh yeah. Smart, they put in a big drain down here too. Step to the side in case somebody comes flying through. So you get a sense of scale being down in here. So a nice big step up. Really steep and lippy. It's hard to walk up, so. And then, I would say it's a, you know, sort of a gap. You know, they've got a drain in here, but it should certainly launch you up here onto the landing. Oh man, it's a great well-built landing. Oh yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this summer, the doctor will release me to do some of the stuff I used to do. We'll see. I'm getting older. Maybe I shouldn't be doing all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna continue on Rhythm and Blues, which they've done a lot more work on. I mean, they've enhanced most of the berms. And done some done some other work. I like that's been worked on. Drain work here and here. More drain work. Uh, you can almost never have enough drain work done. Especially as much rain as we get around here. Oh 
Oh yeah, this tabletop's new. Well, not new, but much, much bigger and better than it used to be. More drain work. Drop there. All right. And that was the revamp of Rhythm and Blues. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the preview of Rhythm and Blues and Rock and Roll and the uh, uh, new changes that they've made to them and uh, the special features. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed looking at the uh, new drops as well. Uh, I got to give a shout out to Sorba Woodstock and all the great work that they do along with their volunteers uh, and trail builders and trail maintainers. Uh, I want to say that if you, uh, if you ride the trails around here or even your home trails wherever you are, Please try to volunteer for those groups to help maintain the trails so that we can all keep biking. I hope you guys take time this week to go out and enjoy the ride.